right guys, it's super windy right now. Hopefully this records all right, but I've been trying to get this squared away to where I can get a video for you guys. Um, had issues with the my adapter here. It cracked. I was trying to get away with not having a brace on it, and I don't really want a brace underneath where I can't get to it, so I'm trying this bar out to see if it'll hold it. But got that squared away. And then my actuator where I mounted it has just been a real pain to tune. It's super sensitive in the mid-range area, but it's probably mostly my fault for just the, the way it's positioned. So we're getting it figured out, but it's just taken a lot longer than I expected. And then I ended up with a bad four bar map sensor and that messed me up for a while. So I got some video here to kind of show you guys how it's acting though for now and hopefully I'll get more later on but yeah overall very impressed it is quite a turbo and man do these newer turbos just light up like nothing so anyway enjoy guys Alright guys, so just to kind of give you a visual here, I'm just putting through town in third gear and as you can see even just right here at like 1500 RPM, I'm kind of making about a PSI of boost just coasting, but even clear down here, I can load it up and get right up to 10 PSI pretty much right away come down here and slow down just really surprising I can make boost that low but I do have the veins completely closed whenever I step on the pedal And here we're getting on the on-ramp to the interstate here. So I'll try to get it still enough. But right here about around 2,000, if I get on it. Even in the mid 2000 RPM range, I can get on it and it just goes right up to full boost. And here's kind of a little bit of a better visual here. From anywhere about 2300 plus, if I step on it, it comes up pretty quick, but up higher, it goes right to it. just really responds nicely. 